and welcome to Tabletop Weekly for a very special little series I'm doing here. I am joined by three lovely friends of mine and Nina's, and Nina is in fact one of them. Uh, and we Hi. are playing a very special game. We are playing. There's my microphone gone. Uh, we are playing <laughs> Tales of Equestria, the My Little Pony RPG. Yeah. Uh, this is a game I've had for a while and I wanted to, somebody to play it with, and the only person that wanted to play it was Nina. So we roped in two of Nina's friends, who, who are very, you, you guys are excited? Yes. Yeah. Good. Uh, and to play this little RPG, and it's a custom made adventure, which I've written myself, and we'll take you through that. And to speak of who I have joining me, I have Kit Bus who, and uh, Martina, uh, who are both longtime friends of mine and Nina's. Um, Kit, obviously, you know, as being artist for various RPG streams and things like that, and freelance things works with, with the dragons and the dungeons, the dragons <laughs> and the dungeons, and things like that. And you, you, and you brought Martina into the fold of RPGs. Yes, it's all by, their fault. Yeah, it, 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 and I'm forever grateful. <laughs> mm, I was <love> fine. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and then obviously, you know, Nina, she is, you know, my other half. My, my soul mat. I draw <laughs> butts for the Yogg's cast. No, that's it. There you go. That's <laughs> a very good best of The best butts. Um, now, before you guys came here, you guys, uh, I briefly explained what the game was about and everything else. And uh, I know Nina is probably going to be our, our My Little Pony expert in on your side of things. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll try. Um, but you guys know a little bit about it. You uh, Did you watch the old show or have you watched any of the new show? I used to watch the very old one. So you watched the old one, but you've not seen any of the new show? I've seen a couple of episodes. You've seen a couple of episodes. Yeah. Kit? I've seen, you've seen a few one. episodes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So you know vaguely the tone and everything else about mm -hmm. it. Okay, cool. Um, so you guys have had to think about characters, um, but we're actually going to go through and make them step by step because it's something which I'm guessing some of you at home might be interested in. Um, but it's also quite a fun thing because in Tales of Equestria, you don't just make your character, you do get to colour them in and draw them as well. And seeing as we have three artists <laughs> as no the players, so well, excited. you have to do a bloody good job. So excited. <laughs> Um, um, so. Crush a disappointment for everybody here. <laughs> <laughs> no. So, the first thing we need to pick uh, for you guys so I can give you an appropriate character sheet is uh, da, da, da. you need to choose your pony type. So, there are three options you can be a unicorn, a pegasus, or an earth pony. An earth pony is basically a regular horse, but they're very good at. <laughs> Being brave or being physical or anything to do with nature, they're really good at that kind they're of stuff. They're the Hufflepuffs. Right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that that's oh, a damn. fair. That's kind of a fair assumption, really. I'm a Hufflepuff. Um, I can say that. Oh, okay. <laughs> so um, you get to pick one of those, and then obviously you need to pick if you're a boy pony or a girl pony, a colt or a, a pony, as they're called. Um, and yeah, and then I will give you a character sheet with an appropriate outline for you to colour in. Um, so Kit, when we start with you, do you have any rough thoughts? Do you know what you want to be? I want to be a unicorn. You want to be a unicorn, like you your necklace suggests. I can't, yeah. I can't yeah. Yeah. I can't Okay, um, and do you want to be a boy pony or a girl pony? I want to be a boy pony. You want to be a boy pony, nice. Okay, get a bit of variety. Yeah. And uh, tear these off. I love how this is just like a big tear sheet of like <laughs> colouring in sheets. It's yeah, great. It's super convenient. So, yeah, it's good. let's tear all of these off. And then... <laughs> it's going to be like the one right at the very back. There you go. So there oh, is yours. <laughs> Okay, and so you're going to be a male unicorn pony. We'll do the rest of the steps in a second. Uh, Nina, what would you like to be? I am going to be a female earth pony. A female earth pony, earth Hufflepuff. Pony. Yeah. Um, there you go, so Thank there is your you. one. Um, and then Martina. I'm going to be a girl as well, and I'm going to be the one with the wings. And you're going to be a Pegasus. Yes, please. There yes. you go. Thank okay. you very much. So I'll tell you a little bit about your pony types. So like mentioned, earth ponies are generally they're either very brave or they're very physical um, but they're also very good at interacting with people and generally we're good with animals and nature and that sort of thing as well um, they get an ability called stout heart which we'll talk a little bit when we're picking talents um, unicorns can obviously do magic you'll get a magic spell that you can cast being a unicorn um, and they tend to be a little bit more brainy they're not normally as brawny as other types but they can be if you want them to be um, so you can kind of change that up and then pegasus obviously can fly they have wings but they are also in equestria the land of my little pony they are responsible for looking after the weather. So a lot of Pegasus can control the weather. They can like um, they can uh, kick clouds to like make it a sunny day, or they can drag clouds to make it rain if there needs to be rain and things like that. Um, and that's kind of their role. And then obviously unicorns do a lot of magic, and then Earth ponies do a lot of growing food, and they tend to be very foodie related as well. Um, Earth ponies. Um, so now you guys have got those. The next thing is you need to start thinking about things like pony name and things like that. But we'll probably do that near the end once you've had a good think. Um, but if you've got a rough idea for what you're thinking in your mind, the way that this system works is rather than having like strength and dexterity and intelligence and all that kind of stuff um, in Dungeons and Dragons, this is broken down into just three stats. You have body, 
mind and charm. So body is anything physical, mind is anything intellectual, and then charm is anything social, right? So it breaks it all down there. The first choice you guys need to make is whether you want your pony to be strong or brainy. And what that means is you have a D6 and a D4 to choose from, and you put those in whichever one you want. So if you want your character to be brainy, you'd put your D6 in mind, and if you want them to be brawny, you put your D6 in body, and then the other one goes in the other side of things like that, okay? So have a think, what kind of things are you thinking of? Do you think you've got vague ideas of whether you want to be brony, br brony? Oh, wow. <laughs> brainy okay. or brawny is what I was trying to go with. I mean, it's kind of a good slip up, I think, for this particular show. Yes. Like, I've got to tag uh... YouTube search algorithms somehow. So. Um, so yeah, do you guys have any thoughts? Hmm. Oh, that's a tough one, actually. Hmm. Um, brainy or brawny, or... It's also easy to think of it, it's not necessarily maybe being super smart, but maybe being book read and things like that, or having an interest in a certain subject. So if you wanted to say, if you were really interested in cooking, it probably made more sense to have a high uh, mind stat because mm. it's a bit more about like knowing recipes and things like that. Whereas if you're a farmer, it'd probably be better to be brawny because it's a bit more physical related. Mm. So it's thinking about things in that sort of way. Um, the one thing that everybody can write down whilst you guys are thinking is you all have a D6 in charm. So everybody has Yay. a D6 in charm because you are cute, adorable ponies. <laughs> now, Martina, with yours, because yes. I know that you kind of give me some vague ideas of what kind of character you want to do later on. What we'll probably do is we'll write some stuff underneath each box because yours is going to change every now and then. Okay. So just a, a little factoid there. Um, so uh, once you've done that, um, yeah, any, still, any thoughts on whether you want to be brawny or brainy? Kit's looking like she's got something. She's working something. Uh, she's got kind of sparkles around the D6. <laughs> that's fine. Like, I fully expect lots of that. That's why there are stickers and glitter pens I'm so excited. and everything else like that. Just tell me hunting out where I'm going to put the glitter. Okay. Um, I think I'm going to. I think I'll probably go brainy. You're going to be more of a brainy, and you are um, a unicorn. Yes. So that is a D6 in mind, and then a D4 okay. in your body stat. Oh. Um, no opening doors for me. Yeah, I mean, you can obviously still do things, but also being a unicorn, you know, you've got magic to do stuff like that. Like, True. you don't need to do it. the physical work of these earth ponies. So. <laughs> these peasants. <laughs> these peasants, effectively, <laughs> yes. Uh, <laughs> Nina's Thanks. like, hmm, how can I mess with everyone now? Okay. Um, I think brawny for me, yeah, actually. It I makes think, sense with an earth pony. Yeah, and it's also, I think, like, based on what you were telling me about, like, kind of her background a little bit more, there's a bit more agility and sort of things like that in there. Because it's not just necessarily being strong. Body can also be quickness and grace. You can okay. be a great dancer and have a high body stat as well. Oh. So it's not just about being like, <laughs> being like her bulking biceps and stuff like that. Awesome. So, what do um, I now because you're an earth pony, you actually upgrade your body stat automatically. Oh, okay. So you have a D8 in your body. Oh, hello. And, and a D4 <laughs> in mind. <laughs> So you're not the smartest okay. pony around, Aww. but you're really, yeah. but you've got Fine. loads of energy and you're super, you know, ready that to go. That enthusiasm's there. Your enthusiasm's yeah. there. And what about you, Martina? Any ideas? Well, as I said, I can't expect mine to switch. Yours are going to, not necessarily switch, but maybe we'll go up and down depending okay, okay. on uh, well, what time I'm, of I'm day gonna it is. Well, I'm going to go brawny then because she flies. So okay, so like you're going to have brony, a D6, D6 in body. Brony. You're going to be super brawny. <laughs> super brawny. So you're going to be D6 in body and D4 in mind. Okay. Okay. Damn, I'm um, buff. The next thing to work out is your stamina. Now, um, Martina and Kit, you're going to have the same. You've got 10 okay. maximum stam stamina. Ooh. And stamina is, think of it as hit points, but it's not necessarily always about getting hurt. It can be stress. It can be being upset. It can be anything. It can be physically hurt. You might twist your ankle and then you get like some stamina taken off. But also if somebody hurts your feelings or some pony, I should start saying, some pony hurts your feelings, Surely that will take stamina as well. You twist your hoof. Twist your hoof, yes, correct. There's going to be a lot of stuff like that, like every pony <laughs> oh, and is. oof, you know, and things like that. So you have ten, but uh, Nina, you're going to have twelve because Earth ponies um, get theirs up. Damn, they're very, they're very stalwart Earth ponies. Um, the next thing on the list of things to pick is your special talent, and this yeah. will actually determine what your cutie mark is. So. If, for those of you at home, if you've no idea what we're babbling on about so far, <laughs> a cutie mark is a little symbol on the horse's flank, their butt basically, uh, which That's determines, it. yeah, you can see it on some of the pictures, <laughs> um, and it basically represents who that pony is as a character. And that's very much tied into your special talent. Now, there's a bunch of different options. Um, you've kind of had a quick look at the book, and I know you guys have got some rough ideas for this kind of stuff, um, but it can be anything. You could have, your special talent could be in juggling. It could be in knowing lots about uh, animals. It could be anything you can think of. There are things like talking to animals. It can be certain magical spells, whatever you fancy. Um, but have you guys got any vague ideas? I know we talked a little bit about it. 
Uh, so, what special talents are we thinking of? Um, Go on, Nina. <laughs> what was my talent again? <laughs> okay. can, I, can I keep the one that I told you about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll, 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 do, <laughs> we'll do Martine while you're reminding yourself what you're seeing. We'll do Martine. Because Martine is yes. Martine's isn't it? Now, you wanted to have your character who is your special oh, talent. Yeah. Is, you're very good at night time. Yes. Like, she's more alert and she's quicker on her feet yeah, and very ninja graceful. Yeah, ninja focused. But then at the daytime, <laughs> she's sleepy like me. and, and it's like, yeah. okay, so it's a little bit sleepy yeah. and a bit clumsy and things a like bit that. Dim, yes. Okay, so what your special <laughs> oh. so uh, your your special talent is I think maybe we'll call it something like night owl. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, that's going to be your talent name. Uh, let's go in the first one. Yep. Okay. And then what that's going to do is uh, rather than having a dice attached to your specific talent. Yeah. What it's going to do, and it's going to tie into what your quirk's going to be, okay. um, which is, uh, I think maybe we'll call your, I don't know, what we'll like, uh, day drunk. sleepy, uh, day drunk, sure. <laughs> like, we can call it day drunk. Day okay. uh, that's going to be your nice. quirk. And your quirk is kind of like, um, I don't want to say negative trait, but it's something about your personality that maybe isn't super favourable. Yeah, there's room um, for improvement. There's room for improvement, yes. I like that. <laughs> uh, now, what yours is going to be, the two of those combined, is going to be that during the daytime, all of your dice basically get one step worse to a minimum of d4. Okay. At night time, all of your dice get one step better. Okay. So basically, at, uh, so if your base body is d6, yep. um, then at night time, it's, it's d8. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. But the other way around. In the daytime, it's a d4 because you're a bit clumsy and a bit sleepy. Okay. Um, same with your mind stat, if it'll go up to a d6 at night time, okay. um, but it won't necessarily get any worse during the daytime. Um, okay. Maybe I'll just kind of factor that in as a bit of an RP thing that okay, you're a bit okay. clutzy or you're a bit, yes. you know, sleepy. Um, and then your, but your charm will stay the same. Your charm's oh, gonna stay the same. Because you, you don't get more glamorous. Well, you stay I can try. glamorous. You can try. She, she can't get more she glamorous. She can't physically oh. get more. Stop it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's gonna be a lot of this, by the way. Yeah. Um, the, the thing with getting three friends who know each other very well. Um, <laughs> so, so that's gonna be your special talent and quirk all rolled into one. Mm -hmm. um, so start thinking about a name, um, start thinking about what your cutie mark might be, what your actual symbol's gonna be. Okay, okay. Um, and so we're gonna get to the coloring in phase shortly. Uh, mm -hmm. Kit and Nina, you guys got any ideas? Yeah, so I love bubble gum. I okay. want my pony to, to be... love bubblegum also. Okay. <laughs> um, and thought it'd be super cute, like if she could make different forms and shapes out of okay. it. Okay. But yeah. I don't know to make cute things, to make people happy. That, or like you know anything that she can think of, or it can conceivably blow into the shape of a, a bubblegum bubble. Yeah. Perfect. That's the perfect idea of a, of a My Little Pony talent. Um, so we'll call it something. Yeah, like a bubble bubble expertise or something like that or like bubble skill um yeah yeah special bubble skill, skill bubble bubble making bubble making, bubble bubble making. Bubble. so we're called special skill bubble making um and i believe that it starts off your your starting talent starts off as a d6 so oh, anytime okay. you do anything that you can conceivably justify to me or that would okay. make sense where you might have to make a body test to i don't know um get climb up a, a mountain and you can be like i'm gonna blow a bubble of bubble gum full of air and it's gonna make it lighter so i can climb up yeah if i think yeah. that that's justifiable you get to roll your body <coughs> trait and your talent dice and oh, whichever nice. one is higher you pick those results from nice. okay so basically your special talent gives you like a second chance to succeed at something right the way you think of it like that yeah um and then do you have an idea of what sort of quirk like a flaw might be yeah short attention span <laughs> so my idea is the reason she's like chewing bubblegum is to help her concentrate because she's constantly like, just like can't focus on stuff and having bubblegum oh. is, is proven to help you focus. She's a kinetic learner. Okay. Yes. So she chews ah, the bubblegum yes. to help her focus on things. And, exactly. um, and yeah, that's the other thing that ties into your talent. You need bubblegum. So if you run out of bubblegum, if you run out of yeah. sticks of bubblegum, you won't be able to use your talent. Yeah. So that's one thing to keep in mind. That sounds perfect. So right now, short attention span is your quirk. Um, and then that sounds perfect. Um, oh, Martina, the other thing I should mention for you, you have yes. a second talent, which is flying. So of you course. just write fly, and you have a d6 in your okay. fly skill. Thank you very much. That's perfect. It has been noted. Kit. Mm, yes. Do you so have an idea? I do. Um, so my pony is good at growing things. Okay. Like flowers and plants. Bit of a gardener. Bit of a Samwise. A little bit. Okay. <laughs> nice. We love Sam. it. Nice. Um, and he does it by speaking to them nicely. Oh, that's he so encourages nice. them to grow. He asks so it, them to grow. So oh. can can he hear the plants back? Do they speak to him, or is it more that he's gently encouraging? I think he's gently encouraging. Okay, them. awesome. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, that sounds perfect. <laughs> okay, so, uh, so I guess we'll call it something. Yeah, like green thumb. 
That green was green hoof. Yeah. Green hoof. Green, green hoof. Oh, <laughs> green hoof uh, as a d6. Okay. So you have that. And then all unicorns have the telekinesis talent, which mm. is a d6 as well. Okay. Do I have any extra? Yes, you do. You have an ability called Stout Heart, um, which is also a d6. And Stout Heart, the best way to kind of describe this is any time your pony has to do something either physical or um, brave, you can say, I want to use my Stout Heart, uh, and you can use that in part of it, because it's representing you being so courageous and brave, but also oh. physical and things like that I'll as well. I'll take it. So uh, mm. you get that as well. Um, and then, so, doo -doo 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 -doo, the next thing to think about, now this is something I might need to do a little bit of explaining for, is you need to pick your element of harmony. Now in the My Little Pony uh, show, the main characters are, they have, they are these elements of harmony. They each represent one of these special kind of traits <coughs> that has magic connected to it in the world of Equestria. You have honesty, kindness, laughter, generosity, loyalty, and magic. Um, and whilst the main characters in the My Little Pony show are the kind of embodiment of these things, every pony in Equestria kind of has a little connection to them and they can draw on the magic when, it, when it's required. Um, and you guys need to pick one of these as well. Now, most of them are pretty self-explanatory. Things like kindness is being super kind and nice to everybody. Loyalty is being very loyal to your friends and to you know where you're from and everything else. Generosity is obviously being generous with your time, but also with your you know with your things. It's you know being generous in you know uh, your attention and everything else. Laughter is a bit more like obtuse. It's not just about making people laugh. It can be making people smile. It can be doing things to brighten up people's day. Um, it's generally just you know that kind of like you you're the like the soul of the party kind of thing. And then honesty is you might still tell lies, but you try and tell the truth as much as possible. So you don't like lying or you try and be as honest as you can in your own efforts as well. So somebody who always gives their best is very honest. Um, and then magic is the idea that all of these things is combines and makes magic itself. Um, and magic is being a little bit mysterious, but it's also kind of being a bit of a leader and it's about kind of looking after everybody else and you know helping everybody else realize their potential. Um, so you each need to pick one of these. And I know Nina's one because I know her favorite character in the whole show <laughs> is Pinkie Pie. And yeah, considering well, that you are bubblegum and everything else. Exactly, laughter for me. So you're going to sure. do element of laughter. Yeah. Okay, so you write that down on your character sheet. There should be an element of harmony uh, at the top. Um, what about Kit and Martina? If you need me to explain anything, just give me a shout. Um, I think mine's probably going to be kindness. You're going to be nice and kind. Yes. Kind's oh. like Fluttershy. Yes. Yes. So, she is Fluttershy. Yeah, she yes, very pretty much is Kit. <laughs> so we're very much picking to type here. First episode I watched, she's like, that, that's <laughs> Kit! <laughs> And I told her, just like, I know. Like, when she's like chasing the animals going, love me. <laughs> that's definitely me. Yeah, that's it. I'm going to go for honesty. Honesty. Yes. Okay, so you're going to be a very honest person. Yes. and I think in the, in the daytime, she's going to be way too honest. To, like, okay. keep some of that truth to yourself. It is <laughs> There's, you. That is, that, is, that is an element of, of honesty, yes. it's the, They are known for being a little bit too, uh, yeah, talking a bit too much. Also, yeah. Yeah, let's go with that, yes. Okay. Frank. Yeah. Frank, a little Frank, Frank. yes, absolutely. <laughs> Um, and then one last thing, well, a couple of last things. Um, everybody is level one, so you are all yep. level one ponies. Um, you are, you know, quite young still. Um, you've maybe not had any major adventures, but you've done enough to kind of make yourselves known <clears throat> in uh, Ponyville, where you're from. Um, but you're, you're still setting out on your epic journey. You're not quite at the level of Twi Princess Twilight and all of her friends. Um, then the last thing, probably the most important thing, you need to come up with a name. Now, the name is normally tied in with your cutie mark and your special mm -hmm. talent. Um, but it can be pretty much anything you want. So, um, have you guys got any ideas for names? I have it. Already. You have it already? Honeymoon. Honeymoon. So you're going to be called Honeymoon. <laughs> What's your cutie mark look like? It's Do you have a an idea? Moon. It's just a crescent moon. <laughs> with just, um, it's just nice. That. Perfect. Okay, so Honeymoon. Hmm. Honeymoon the Pegasus. So cute. Thank you. And what about, yeah. you? what about Nina and Kit? Oh, well, I'm going to be Bubblegum Blossom. <laughs> <laughs> These are the because most pony so names cute. ever. It's so cute. Um, I can't take it. Ah. <laughs> I just, um, your friend. I love the idea of, of her being like pink, like a cherry blossom, or maybe her family runs like a cherry blossom farm or Aww. something. Why, why do you need farms of cherry blossoms? I don't. To make everything beautiful. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. For the anime moment. Yeah, the anime yeah, yeah. They, they harvest petals. Sakura petals. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. they just... make them. I suppose actually, being horses, you would eat petals. So yeah, that. that oh, oh it's a tasty would work. treat. Yes. It's a tasty treat. Mm. Um, so Sakura flavored, like like Sakura flavored Kit Kats in Japan. 
Okay, Okay, so yeah, perfect. Yeah, you you come from a family of, of cherry blossom farmers, um, mm. but you have a special talent with the bubble gums. Or cultivators? Would that cultivators, be sure. Farmers. Oh, is that thing. the same thing? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I mean, it's very airplane to just say farmer. Um, and <laughs> Kit, what about you? Have you got an idea for a name? I think he's going to be called Lily Pod. Lily Pod. Mm. Nice. Perfect. Um, any idea for a cutie mark? Um. You can have I a think, think. We're gonna have a little art montage. Yeah, I think I might. I might go for like a like an actual like a little lily pad because it's my favorite flower. Oh, there so you go. Perfect. I'll go for that. Um, there's a couple more last Ooh. minute bits. Uh, so you will have you will have 400 bits. Bits is the currency of Equestria. Okay. It's basically gold coins. <laughs> um, and you don't write that down because okay. I'm gonna give you a list of equipment and you can go through and buy some stuff for yourselves. Awesome. Nice. Um, Ponies do wear clothes in My Little Pony. If you want to have hats or dresses or bags, that's all perfectly acceptable. Jewelry, that's nice. all fine. Um, there's a big list of equipments. We'll do that in a cut because nobody wants to see me <laughs> passing a book around. Um, mm. But the other thing is, and this is one of the biggest mechanics in uh, Tales of Equestria. So you've kind of got your stats and that's how you like test if you succeed at tasks. But this wouldn't be My Little Pony without the magic of friendship. So each of you are going to get a number of friendship tokens. Now you get a number of friendship tokens equal to the total number of players in the game, including me. Okay. So you're each oh. going to get four friendship tokens. So there's oh. yours, Kit. So you Thank get four you. little crystals. Oh, they're pretty. If you can pass those down to Nies. Oh, there you go. In fact, pass those to Martina. Oh, they look so tasty. Oh my god, they do. I want to eat them. <laughs> oh so you'll god. see you've got like a little circle on your character sheet and oh, you literally pretty. place them all in there. Um, then you drop those, then you lose my friendship tokens. You, you are no them. longer friends. It's fine, get them in a minute. We'll get them in a minute, Nies. Um, I got it. You got one. <laughs> um, <laughs> now, these tokens, uh, once you spend them, they don't come back. But if you do things that are nice for your friends, if you are a good pony, you might get some more. Okay, cool. um, but what you can do is you can spend these to do things like re-roll the dice. So if you fail a check and you're like, oh, no, I'm so close, it's, you, know, you can spend the friendship token to re-roll a dice. You can spend two friendship tokens to roll the best type of dice. So instead of rolling a d6 for a trest, you get to roll a d20. Wow. So you can spend two to do that. Or <clears throat> at certain points, if you guys think that it's applicable and you can convince me it's applicable, that together by working as friends, you can overcome something, you can each spend one friendship token to automatically succeed at anything. Um, that can be anything. It can be breaking down a door, it can be um, scaring away a monster, it could be whatever it is, but you have to come up with a way that you're working together as a team, okay? Um, and then occasionally there might be like odd story bits where I say, I'll tell you what, you can, if you spend a friendship token, I'll let you do this. And I might just kind of give it to you on the fly as well, okay? So they are a resource, but they will come back. You'll also get them back when you level up. So don't be too afraid to spend them, um, but also remember that you, yeah, they're not gonna automatically come back straight away. Um, and then the last bit, which I know that you're all most excited about, is at the bottom of the character sheet, there is a little outline. Um, we have stickers and pens and pen coloring pencils and markers. Um, <laughs> show up to this one, show up to this camera, Martina. So, it's got wings. So you've got, the, you've got the outline there. You guys now get to color those in and we're gonna do a montage of you guys coloring in your ponies. Cut to the montage. <laughs> 